Uh, last year was a pretty dismal fourth quarter. Retail overall had about a 4.5% loss. This year, we're looking for an improvement. That doesn't mean anything you know, tremendous in terms of huge growth, but we're looking at relatively flat, uh, pretty soft still fourth quarter, but it is, again, an improvement over last year. It depends largely on the sector in retailing. Uh, some sectors are going to do a lot better. Other sectors will not do as well. The mass merchant sector, uh, discount department stores, Walmart, warehouse clubs, Costco, those stores are all positioned to experience some modest growth in the fourth quarter. They're projecting 2 to 3% increases. But any retailers that are real dependent on apparel and accessories, including uh, mid-tier department stores, luxury department stores, they're going to continue to have some losses in the fourth quarter. Well, recognizing that uh, this year they're going to need to be ready a little earlier, uh, companies like Walmart have gone very promotional early in the season. They launched their 100 toys for under $10 recently, and a lot of these discount department stores, mass merchandisers, are going to be much more promotional earlier in the season. The reason they're doing that is that they don't want to take those deep discounts that they took at the end of the buying season last year, and so they're trying to get that first sale of the season as opposed to the last sale. That first sale is always much more profitable than the last sale in the uh, in the season. So they're coming out of the gate really aggressive in terms of pricing and you're going to see that across the board. Well and that's something that you know I've actually talked about is that uh, we finally decided that we needed to start saving money. We couldn't you know spend so free and easy anymore. Uh, a lot of the aspirational retailers really have taken a hit over the last year. Companies like um, uh, Neiman and Marcus, Saks Fifth Avenue, but uh, I think the aspirational market's going to come back. I think that it's part of who we are um, in the U.S. I think we are an aspirational society, and I think once the economy eases up and we have a little more discretionary income, that aspirational shopping will be back.